What's up, YouTube? Bam, and welcome to another episode of Wolf King's Vids. All right, we got Alex Jones commenting on Bernie Sanders. He's got some interesting stuff to say, crazy as always. Um, let's hear it. Let's watch. The Democrat race, I think those polls are basically correct. I think that that's up for grabs. I think it's a jump ball, and I'll tell you what, I would love nothing better than to see Bernie Sanders take a victory here in Iowa, and I think that builds momentum for him. And the enthusiasm. I agree. He, he, he is. He is. He, he would be great to defeat. But I mean, I don't want to be put in this forced labor camp. I mean, I don't want to be ruled over by that that piece of crap. Alex, Alex, you and I have worked too hard to see Hillary go bye bye. If Bernie can defeat her and keep her out of no, the I hear you. I just it's so man. creepy that a hardcore commie wants to put me in a forced relocation camp like Mao Zedong. I mean, this country. The fact that he has ten thousand people and twenty thousand in Iowa at events. I mean, Drudge has an image of it up on his site. That's scary, man. I honestly think he's trolling at this point. Yeah, I mean, can a guy really be this this batshit crazy and idiotic? I mean, it, it's it's silly. Okay, um, first off, Senator Bernie Sanders is a Democratic Socialist. He's not a communist. His politics is more consistent with the uh, Nordic model that sort of incorporates um, capitalism, uh, but it, it, it's it's working under a mixed economy. Okay, it's just that. Um, it has policies to where the working and middle class people can actually stay afloat, could actually survive with the means of production, and not have to worry about you know uh, choosing over paying their rent and uh, and you know grocery shopping and stuff like this. And and how is his, uh, is any of his politics um, consistent with uh, with communism? I mean, um, free universal health care and free education. These are not like this isn't exactly a, b a bad thing. I mean, if, if anything. This ensures that that the population, you know, is will do fine, and every and everyone will do better, including rich people, as opposed to this corporate welfare bullshit. Which, I, I mean, I I love how these conservatives, you know, get you know all uh, all scared over the word socialism, but they're fine with corporations having to pay less taxes, being less discharged on loans, and essentially declaring bankruptcy and not worrying about that. I, you know, I, I just love that that uh, ridiculous double standard but um, I, I honestly think that it's silly given the fact that you know with with the Millennials on the rise you know favoring socialism over capitalism um, just this this new wave of thought you know going around you know the, the paradigm shifting I mean it, it's it's basically to ensure that you know the like the the 99 percent over these uh, 400 you know Americans they have everything they need, all the all the resources to basically do better and encourage their um, their social mobility over what we've seen in the last few years with this centrist, uh, you know, let, let's have you know corporate influence over the government type shit. I've I've know I, I know I've I've always been about separation of church and state on this channel, but I'm also separation of corporation and state. That's just me too, you know. So. You know, with that being said, I hope Bernie Sanders keeps on going and hopefully gets that nomination because, you know, the bullshit that we've been seeing, um, you know, on Fox News and all these uh, conspiracy theory uh, channels and, you know, podcasts and whatever, you know, they're, they're just not working. They're, they're putting out the wrong message as retarded. But um, that, that's all I got to say. This is my video. This has been Wolf King. Peace out. If you like this video, you know what to do. And uh, peace out. Later.